Books with clues. Today we are reading Tinyville Town Gets to Work by Brian Biggs. Good morning. Welcome to Tinyville Town. Every day, the people of Tinyville Town get to work. The baker makes the most delicious donuts. The trash collectors collect the trash. The bus driver drives the bus, getting everyone to work on time. Everyone has a job to do. Yuck! No donuts? But this morning, something isn't right in Tinyville Town. The bus is late, says Mayor Murphy. There must be a problem. It's Mayor Murphy's job to solve problems. Mayor Murphy finds the police officer. Do you know what the problem is? He asks. I'll tell you what the problem is, she replies. Look! The trash collectors can't collect the trash. The baker can't open his bakery. And the bus driver can't get to the bus stop. It's a traffic jam. Uh-oh, says Mayor Murphy. This is a big problem for Tinyville Town. What should we do? We need a new bridge. Mayor Murphy knows just what to do. He meets with Tinyville Town's engineer and city planner. The old bridge was built when Tinyville Town was much smaller, says the engineer. But now we need a bridge that is wider so that the cars, trucks, and buses can get across. The bridge should also be stronger, says the city planner, so it can carry these cars, trucks, and buses as Tinyville Town grows. Perfect, says Mayor Murphy. Can you also add big steel arches so the bridge is beautiful to look at? The engineer and city planner think for a moment. We can do that, they reply. Mayor Murphy holds a press conference. The newspaper reporter and the television crew record every word he says. My fellow citizens of Tinyville Town, says the mayor. We're building a new bridge. It will be bigger, stronger, and more beautiful than the old bridge. Let's get to work. Tinyville Times, construction begins. Not so tiny anymore, says Mayor. The excavation crew begins by digging deep into the banks of the river. This creates a strong foundation for the big concrete piers that will hold the new bridge. Careful! The crane operator lifts enormous stones high onto the piers. Expert stonemasons carefully put the stones in place. Brave iron workers assemble the big steel arches for the new bridge. The arches look beautiful and make the new bridge much stronger than the old one. Finally, the road crew paves the bridge and paints wide lanes onto the road so cars, trucks, and buses can get by. The bridge is finally finished and it's opening day. All of Tinyville Town is here. Mayor Murphy cuts the ribbon. The new Tinyville Town Bridge is now open, he says. Hooray! This is Tinyville Town. Thank you for reading with me. Come back soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Books with Blue.